All right, this is uh, week two of me making some games, and uh, so I decided to um, that I'm probably just going to make a game a week and try to learn that way, and eventually maybe I'll start picking up something. But uh, mainly my idea behind this was uh, Remy Ismail, who's one of the uh, co-founders of Lambeer, did an article in Gamma Sutra, like, Five, about five years ago six years ago now um i'll link it in the thing and he just talks about making a game a day so um and how that kind of helps um getting experience and basically um the foundation i had for this idea is i just wanted to make a game with a grappling hook and i really had no idea how to go about starting to do that so i did the easy thing and looked up a tutorial for how to make a grappling hook and somebody made a really good video about it based off of an open source game. I'm going to link all that information in the description. And then I also just found this really simple sprite art asset. And um, mainly my main idea with this was to um, maybe simplify it even further. And so uh, the original person had... Uh, some stuff that I took out, which is, I think from the open source game, which is that you had like this air jump and this jump, and I just took out the jump. So I'm pressing what would have been the jump button and he's not doing anything, uh, or she, whatever the gender of this thing is. Um, left and right, moves left and right, click shoots a grappling hook, and you can move left and right while hooked, you let go, and the hook falls. So that's all the controls, and I really like this simple idea of just making something that uh very simple to control um one of the games i've really come to admire a lot from a design perspective is Downwell. if you haven't played that basically all you can do is move left and right and shoot so it's like a three button game and this is to me kind of a similar idea of like essentially a three button game you move left and right and you shoot obviously you get the mouse you can move around uh the camera does some Nice stuff with tracking. Uh, I did not make any more than just one level for this. Um, the tutorial I did um, for the other game kind of had you making multiple scenes to show you how to transition, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, making stuff on a week, I'm really just prototyping, so I'm not. Uh, I just want to be able to move around the space and see if it's fun. Um, I watched something by, I think, Matt Makes Games. I think there's the name of the studio, the people who made Celeste. And they said, if your character is not just fun to move around in, like, an empty room, you know, you need to go back to the drawing board. So I wanted I wanted this to be fun to move around. And it is fun to move around. Uh, and it's interesting. And I like the idea, kind of, the bigger level idea of this would be is, like, if you can make a platformer without there being jumping... Um, I feel like there's one or two that already do this, um, but I couldn't remember their names. I feel like I had heard of them um, before, uh, but I don't think of there's one with like a grappling hook. Uh, for a while, I was thinking that uh, um, Pixel Junk Eden was, but Pixel Junk, I went back and played it today, and it does have jumping, uh, as well as some other stuff. Uh, so this, this could be a fun little idea for you know, maybe like a three to six hour game in the future. Right now, I just wanted to fool around with it. Uh, and it's it's a fun little thing. I don't think I'm going to release it because, like, I would say like 80 to 90 percent of the work was not really mine. I just did very little minor stuff and threw it all together. Um, I want to eventually get to the point of making stuff from scratch. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the game. Uh, the thing I'm really learning is, like, I'll show you some of the uh, code. Um, like, here's the camera code, the chain code, the player code, and the start menu code. So that's basically all the code for the game. It's not a whole lot. Um, but even just this little amount, I didn't really learn a whole lot about it. Like, with the player code, I kind of figured out where the jump stuff was and got rid of that. Um, and, like, I know basically what some of this stuff is doing, but in terms of, like, manipulating it to kind of feel how I want it to, I'm not at that point yet. And that's really where I want to go next, is starting to 
get into the code more and learning how to change things in the code um, to the point that I can kind of make make a game at the code level that's um, on my own that's interesting instead of just going around and being like, okay, I'm going to take this little bit of code and this little bit of code and change this and change that. I want to be able to start actually coding on my own. Um, and then if I get stuck and definitely ask for help or something, uh, the this Godot interface, like I highly recommend, it's super easy. It's a free software. I really, I mean, I know there's some trials and some other stuff, but I really feel like this is super easy to use. Um, so I'm I'm really enjoying it. Uh, this wasn't the most productive week in terms of I didn't work on this as much as I could have, but I basically got it to where I was kind of hoping to earlier than I thought I would. Like I thought it was going to take a lot longer to do this, and it ended up not. Granted, I didn't do a lot of the heavy lifting, but um, yeah, that's that was this week. Um, I just called this game Grappling Hook. Um, keeping the name simple for now and it's a cool idea it could be you know it could be something that you know later on down the line I'd want to develop into something of my own if um, I probably want to recode a lot of the grappling hook stuff and do my own code but it it feels fun it looks kind of fun and I think there could be something to it um, but uh, that's that's as much as I'm touching this right now put it on the back burner, come up with something else. I think next week, my idea is to come up with something that basically has uh, just one input, which is clicking, and then focus more on the programming uh, side and some other stuff. Um, I got a couple of ideas for that. I uh, will see kind of what becomes of that. So that that's all for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, links to all the stuff below. Definitely check those people out if you're interested in that stuff. The art assets, uh, the guy who did the tutorial for a lot of the code in here, uh, the article about doing a game a week, all that's going to be below. Uh, definitely check those out, and thanks for watching.